Pisces, what's goody? It's your girl Blue, and I'm back with messages for us today from Spirit. I hope that you are doing well, my loves. I hope that this message finds you in a fantastic mood. <laughs> I don't know how that was about, but come on in, Pisces. I, I got a few um messages already coming through for y'all. Uh, but let's get the formalities out of the way. If you need a reading, look down below in the description box. The link is down in the schedule. Don't forget to like the video. And to all of my new babes, hey, y'all, welcome home. Okay, and if you brand new, new, okay, <laughs> come on in, baby. We've been waiting on you, all right? We've been missing you, all right? We're so glad you finally made it to the house. So, Pisces, is something here that God wants you to release control of? And allow divine, oh, okay. <laughs> I was gonna say divine time, and oh my gosh, whoa, y'all. <laughs> zero one zero one was on the clock. I just look up, I see a star in the sky, and Aquarius could be significant. You understand me? A wish, a prayer, a hope, all right, a dream. I even heard, okay, but anyway, all right, you got Lagoos Hill with the lake, all right. The number 21 could be significant. <laughs> you also have 55 that's, that slid out here, though. It says, let go of the old. Get ready for big changes. I'm going to show y'all what's already out here on this board now. Hold on. <laughs> Release old doubts, fears, and obstacles and look forward to wonderful new opportunities. Everything happens for a reason and nothing is by chance. Trust the process and enjoy the ride. Is something here about you releasing something and letting go and letting God. Literally, on the bottom of this deck, you have the impossible becomes possible through my connection with the divine. Pure alchemy, temperance. All right, on the bottom of the tarot deck, you got my God card. You know what I'm saying? The Hierophant. Higher connection. Right? I heard a serious connection. All right? Release control. First quarter. A Taurus could be very significant here. All right? You have re first quarter moon in Taurus. Release control. There could even be a Taurus two, three, four on the clock. Wow. That you have released yourself of or something. Okay. A Taurus could be significant. A Gemini as well. Hmm. Hmm. All right, but yeah, <laughs> we have unio, unio, okay? I think that's how you say it. Pleasure, feast, celebration, belonging, comfort, community, success, and festivities. All right, and right here is, is the squirrel. <clears throat> I didn't get to shuffle these yet. Hold on, Pisces, hold on. Uh, it says, while the squirrel consistently guides us towards working hard and being prepared, it specifically guides one's attitude, okay? So, it's something here, Pisces, about your attitude and being in a joyful attitude or something. Some of you guys could be looked to as the person at work that likes to have fun. All right, I feel like I'm talking to an upbeat Pisces. Very much, I heard, somebody might think you're egotistical or something, but I feel like you're just happy and you're fun. And you just like in a joyful ass mood. Why they mad? Why they mad? But it's okay. We're not worried about them. We're going to send them love. Pray you get better, boo. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> spirit, what messages you have here for, for Pisces? What? We're going to get it together. Okay, I'm going to get my communication together and wonder, okay? Hey, right, somebody could be expecting a message from you. Okay, oh my gosh, ideal partnership, or you could be expecting a message from someone. All right, it's something here about you releasing control of something, no Pisces, and focusing your mind on something else. Something here about you focusing your mind or something. It's something here about your dreams, like instead of focusing, like instead of focusing on um something that might not be balanced out or something, focus on your dreams. That's what I'm hearing. Okay, so just put the energy where it goes. Hmm, interesting. Mm, okay. All right, we have inspiration. Mm. It's something here about God talking to you or somebody talking to you, okay? Somebody saying something to you. What is this? Okay, hold on. 
okay? Yeah, spontaneity. It's the like, oh, but just, <laughs> what? It's like judgment in the damn tower. What are we talking about? <laughs> what? What are we knowing? Knowing what, spirit? What are you talking about? Instincts. Okay, what? And spontaneity. I heard steps, okay? I'm seeing a number two, three, four. All right? I don't know what this means, y'all, but ride it with me, okay? We gonna get down. Okay? What? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, something about the uh, Ark of the Covenant. I just heard something about, what are we talking about? I don't know, but okay. It's something about some knowledge higher knowledge or something a higher understanding hmm something's gonna happen all of a sudden i don't know what this is i feel like it's gonna bring somebody here joy or put somebody in a happy mood or something okay but it's some about someone's attitude here that okay it's something about something maybe of not I don't know it's like something might not have happened the way somebody wanted it to or something but it's <laughs> how do I say this like it's coming though or something like that like I don't know whatever this old thing is here it's something about alchemizing that old energy into joy okay <laughs> Y'all, I swear with the numbers, I just saw 654. Oh my gosh. All right, y'all might want to go look up some of these numbers. All right. <laughs> it's going to be happening for no reason. Real talk. Oh my goodness. In the Six of Wands, you could be in the public eye, Pisces. All right. Or you get a lot of attention with the Six of Wands here. It's something about you, Pisces. It's something here about you being noticed by others and being a fun ass energy. Real talk. All right, I feel like, look at all the stars behind this little whatever it is. Squirrel or, oh, damn, I'm going to say monkey. <laughs> that ain't a monkey, though. What is that? Uh -oh. Whatever it is, a, a guinea pig or something? I don't know. Anyway, but look at all the stars, okay? Then you got the eight of wands. This is more communication. Hmm. What is this about spirit? Pisces, what? I'm telling you, that looked like the judgment in the tower. <laughs> that looked like judgment. <laughs> and that looked like the damn tower. <gasps> What's up under the tower? Love. I'm telling you, something for that happened. Something for somebody, somebody. Oh my God. <laughs> It's something here about you knowing your worth, though. I think that's a part of the attitude thing or something. All right, so you want to make sure you're affirming yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like, every day, I'm telling y'all, when I tell you my confidence boosts a bajillion percent, when I started affirming myself, especially mirror work. Go look up Louise Hay on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? I got her book, but I'd rather listen to her on YouTube. <laughs> Real talk, the book kind of boring to me, to be honest. But <laughs> the mirror work book, anyway. But, um, yeah, go check that shit out. Real talk. It's, it, it helps you big up yourself because you deserve it. You got to remind yourself of that shit, right? That's why I made these cards. So, every day, I have an affirmation for myself to lead my day. You know what I'm saying? And for me to affirm that card, that's why I post them on the community tab for us. I try to do them daily. You know what I'm saying? So, that we could have some post, you know, somewhere to start the day at. You know what I'm saying? All right. So, Yeah. All right. The impossible becomes possible through my connection with the divine, pure alchemy. And what is alchemy? That is changing one thing to another. Right. And, you know, simplified. Right. It's got something to do with turning base metal to gold or something, uh, if I'm not mistaken. But once again, go go look it up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you're wondering. All right. Get that enlightenment. 
You know what I'm saying? We just had the uh, Pi the moon in Pisces, right? And we talked about in one of the videos recently about the uh, Christ oil or the Christos. You know what I'm saying? Coming down and um, during that time, you should be meditating and elevating to raise your kundalini. You know what I'm saying? To raise that Christ oil from the sacral plexus. Uh, <laughs> what? Ip, 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 ip. The sacral plexus, right? Up to the, um, all the way up here and shit. Anyway, y'all go check that video out. We did it the other day. But yeah, so it's something here though, Pisces, about you getting enlightened in something. I don't know what you've been doing. I heard prayers, all right? It was, we had, we had a message like that not too long ago either. Prayers, faith, and, and I heard understanding as well, okay? So I feel like understanding, I'm feeling like acceptance, like you're accepting something. And yes, <clears throat> excuse me, releasing control. Okay, come on, Pisces. Come on, it's something, okay? Continue, look, affirm yourself. You understand me, okay? Look, now. Nah. Speak your world into being. Communication. And the damn eight of wands. Right? What? The impossible becomes possible through my connection with the divine. The impossible. What is your impossible, Pisces? Okay, then whatever that is, whatever you just said, right? Affirm yourself that it is possible. What, what what is your impossible? It ain't no more, right? Affirm yourself. Screenshot that shit if you need to. Pure alchemy. Something is going to happen out of the blue, Pisces. Leave the past behind. <clears throat> Last quarter moon and Capricorn. Right? 1155 on the clock. A Capricorn could be significant. A Taurus could be significant. Definitely. You got Taurus out here four times. Big ass Taurus energy, bro. <laughs> you got Taurus right here with release control. You could have really released the Taurus. You understand me? <laughs> know your worth. New moon and Taurus. Right? Or this could have been in the area of love, period. Because Taurus is what ruled by Venus. Right? What? It's... Oh, um, my bad. Be proud of yourself, Taurus Moon. And the damn Hierophant. Big ass Major Arcana Taurus Energy. <coughs> <clears throat> last quarter moon in Taurus. It's like it's the last something, the last of something. And here come the new. All right? And then after the new, it's like a new cycle. This is a new cycle. This is a new cycle, Pisces. Oh, my God. Congratulations. I swear that's what I'm hearing, y'all. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Somebody have been doing the work, baby. I love these fucking readers. You want to say me? This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about, Pisces. Yes. Hallelujah. Okay. Real talk, right? Cool your emotions, okay? All right, and then underneath that is trust the universe. Listen, when I look, when I pulled this up like this, I looked at that, and it's and that the first thing I thought was like wavy ass emotions, right? Like to cool your emotions or let it flow, release control, let your fears dissolve. Oh my God! Thank you, God. Be proud of yourself, Pisces. Leave the past behind. Know your worth. Release control. Relax. Shit. Let your fears dissolve. Is this card for me? I don't think I ever seen this one. It's nice. Relax, Pisces. Oh my God. Breathe through the tension. Ooh. It's a nice message. I like it. Ooh. Go deeper. Forgive. And clear your mind. Real talk. Forgive. Wow. In doing so, it's going to help you see the bigger picture. Trust all is well. Oh my goodness. Very, very, very nice messages, Pisces. All right.
Um, anything else, spirit? This was really just supposed to be real, real quick. It's bedtime for me, as you can see. <laughs> I said, let me drop in on Pisces for y'all another message real quick. All right, spirit. Anything else for Pisces? Look, all right, Mary Poppins could be significant. You got playfulness, right? Enjoying life, being able to, it's something about riding the wave, release control, enjoy the ride, Pisces. Something's going to happen all of a sudden, uh, all of a sudden, out of all the cards that I took, okay, out of all the ones that I put back in the deck, speak your world into being, spontaneity is left out, okay, and the eight of wands, it's something here, okay, it's something here, out of all the cards now, these the ones that's left out, and trust the universe with all the other stack of oh, shit, that was a bunch of too, <laughs> anyway, it's something, I'm telling you, even the eight of wands, that's spontaneous right there, look at it, it's like, it's going to get to you very, very quickly. Wow. Six of Wands. For some of you guys, this is being, <clears throat> excuse me, being in the public eye, receiving a promotion at work even here for someone. All right. All right. The Nine of Pentacles with the Three of Pentacles, the Death and the Sun. Wow, with the chariot underneath that. Wow. Beauty with the six of wands out here. That's intense. That's a lot of attention. That's a lot of um, recognition. That is a lot of appreciation. You understand me? Okay. All right, you got the chariot twice. The chariot is literally moving forward. It's something moving forward here, Pisces. It's something moving forward. Trust all will be well, okay? Trust all will be well. Mm. Some of you guys might have a lot of things on your plate right now, but there's a place of release is what I heard. For some of y'all, it's... it's Y'all, y'all got the Hierophant out here twice now. <clears throat> Look at this. Something changing. The number five could be significant. Something's changing. It could be in this month, the month of May, the fifth month. Okay. The cow jumped over the moon. That's what I just heard. I got to write that down. The cow jumped over the moon. <laughs> Okay, something about writing Pisces, all right? Something's going to happen spontaneously. Something's going to happen all of a sudden, and you're not going to expect it. <coughs> you're not expecting it at all. This ain't even a damn cow, and it ain't no moon <laughs> on the whole damn thing, but that's what I heard. And what is that? Impossible, right? I'm telling you, whatever this is, impossible becoming possible. <coughs> Excuse me. Underneath that, it says, I gracious, graciously accept my past and follow the divine call to my spiritual awakening. Judgment. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Wow. Underneath that, I accept myself. I really... I accept myself, release my past, and I am ready for the next steps in my personal growth. Pisces, congratulations. <laughs> I thought it would have been me. Okay. There might be somebody a little jealous, a little hating. I picked up on the energy earlier, but come on. We expect it at this point, right? <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Of course it's going to happen. It's a 19, 19 on the clock. That number could be very significant. But what? We don't get that shit no attention. Bless them. You know what I'm saying? That's twice. The number two could be significant as well. That's somebody other energy that tapped into this. You know, not tapped into. Okay, but that might be significant. Anyway, <laughs> let's see. All right. Congrats, though. Real talk, Pisces. This looks like a lot of trust a lot of uh affirming a lot of releasing all right and if you haven't gotten there yet yo temperance is over here y'all i kid you not temperance is over here 
It's something about you tapping into your childlike energy as well. Or it's something very much here about a fiery energy or some kind of inspiration or something's going to come over, over you. This is three, three sticks. Oh, what? All right. The three sticks is growth, expansion. You know what I'm saying? Waiting on your ships to come in. It looked like your ship's coming in. Look, y'all done been through some shit. The strength call is sitting over here looking at me. Hello. All right. 20, 30 on the clock. That year could be significant. I know. I know what I said. All right. <laughs> Seven years from now. Okay. <laughs> All right. A seven-year plan, I heard, too. All right. Mm. Oh, my gosh. Literally. Literally, Pisces. You got the four of cups here. It's some about you definitely releasing this past. Not a, not being in a, a, you know what I'm saying? Like, um. Let's see. Ew, yeah. It's something here about releasing old cycles. Real talk. It's right here. It literally is. It's something here about closing out old cycles, Pisces, and like like closing them out. All right. Okay. And it might not be the easiest to do. All right. Because you got the eight of wands right here again, y'all. Oh my gosh. It's double for your trouble. All right. I swear. All these, like, what is this? The eight of, um, the Eight of Wands with the Eight of Wands. Wow. Even, okay, the colors even match. You know what I'm saying? Synchronicities could be uh, significant right now or be occurring a lot off, more often, okay? It's something about a lot of synchronicities occurring. That will be your confirmation or something like that, okay? All right? Like seeing multi, like it's almost like it's, 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 very very close it's almost tangible i'm here at this t like at that time make sure your your thoughts and your uh energy is clear right and you putting yourself in that joyful i <laughs> got the joy 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 you know what i'm saying real talk 22 22 on the clock the number is significant It's something here about those things occurring and focusing your mind on good thoughts all right because your um Anyway, yeah, because of, yeah. <laughs> All right, then you got, I boldly move forward as I embark on my healing journey, knowing that the worst is behind me. Like I said, congratulations, Pisces. It looks like you have closed out or you are closing out a cycle here in your life. And it's going to be very many major, much reason to celebrate. I do want to see what this Ten of Wands is, though. What's this Ten of Wands for Pisces? The Three of Cups again because that was right earlier the seven of cups for somebody it could be something about drinking or something but drinking too much you got 77 i am telling you look doubles bro 77 the seven of cups and somebody could be sneaking and drinking the fuck excuse me but what what the heck okay so you might need to know that for some reason <laughs> Okay, uh, not peace lilies, but those might be significant. But, um, anyway, I, don't, I can't think of the name of the flower. Oh, lotus. How could I forget lotus flower? Lotus flowers could be significant. What does the ten of wands have? As previously stated, congratulations. You have completed a cycle. <laughs> I saw Mario slide down the pole in my head. That's why I be laughing. I know y'all be like, why should we be laughing sometimes? I be seeing shit and it be funny. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I saw Mario literally slide down the pole on the down. You know, when he gets to the end of the board, you, you beat the game. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. That's what I feel, Pisces. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope it brought you clarity, direction, 
confirmation, a laugh, some joy, whatever it is that you needed today. I pray that it brought you that. Okay. I love y'all so very much. Don't forget to like the video, share, subscribe. A uh, huge shout out. Huge, huge shout out <laughs> to all the VIP citizens. I love y'all so very much. All the planeteers. I love y'all so very much. Don't forget to turn on your post notifications, VIPs, and um, planeteers as well. You know what I'm saying? So y'all know when we go live, uh, when I drop new uh, videos for members only. You know what I'm saying? Um, and when we do our monthly reading, VIPs. So make sure y'all um, notifications are on so y'all don't miss out. We do them usually at the end of the month, okay? So just be aware. And it's usually in the evening as I do... You know what I'm saying? Be busy in the, in the daytime. <laughs> All right. Be too busy to get that deep. You know what I'm saying? We be getting deep up in that joint. Anyway, I love y'all so much, Pisces. And I will see y'all down below. Talk to you later.